Today's video looks at Achilles tendon ruptures and return to play. So that's an Achilles tendon rupture just there, marked in the red with the arrow. Now what's not known, or what's not being talked about a lot, is that most of the research in Achilles tendon ruptures don't look at return to play. Only about 20% of uh, studies there look at return to play. And only about 15.4% of them actually have a well-defined return to play criteria, as in, did, the pa did these patients return to training, or did they return to a competitive match or anything like that? Now, the information we're presenting here is going to be based on this paper here, which is the return to play post Achilles tendon rupture. It is what's called a systematic review and meta-analysis, meaning they grouped a whole lot of studies together referring to Achilles tendon rupture, um, and then looked basically grouped the results together via statistical analysis. And so it's quite a, an impressive paper and um, very useful to draw uh, results from, or there's some, there's some, uh, with some weaknesses with it. Now, um, it had 108 studies included, all focusing on Achilles tendon rupture, so that's important to note, not Achilles tendon repair. Um, they looked at rate of return to play and the time to return to play following anybody that has suffered an Achilles tendon rupture, no matter how they were treated. What they found was about 80% of patients returned to sport after Achilles tendon rupture. That's four in five people will return after an Achilles tendon rupture to sport. Um, but when the um, criteria was applied more strictly in terms of only including studies that had strict criteria for return to play, that number dropped down to 77%, so slightly less. Then looking at time to return to play, that was about six months was the average time for people to return to sport after an Achilles tendon rupture. But once again, that wasn't well defined. So if that was, say, returning to the gym as opposed to returning to a competitive match, then that, they're two very different things. And hence the study, you've got to hold on a minute and the study's going to be taken with a grain of salt a little bit. The other thing is, is that if you're recovering from a table tennis, you know, you're trying to get back to playing table tennis or cycling, you may not need as much power in your Achilles, say, as playing soccer or um, participating in athletics. And so the studies have all been grouped together. And so it's difficult to extrapolate that six-month result to all sports. And where that really comes into play is um, in relation to some of the other videos we've had here, particularly the NBA video that we've had previously based on a different research paper. That showed 10 and a half months for the NBA, average NBA player to get back after an Achilles tendon rupture. And for NFL players, it actually took even longer, um, somewhere in the order of 11 to 12 months. And you've got to remember that these are teams that have got a lot of money, a lot of resources, a lot of physiotherapy, and they're taking a long time to get back. Admittedly, their job is high performance and high demand, um, but so that, that just sort of says, look, that six months that we're getting from this main paper is a good ballpark figure, but you can fall either side of that. You may be a little bit quicker, but most people are going to be a lot longer. Um, so look, I hope this is somewhat helpful. I hope this gives you some guide if you've had an Achilles tendon rupture, how long it will take you to get back. You need to remember that this is not specifically returning, um, referring to Achilles tendon repair. Um, this study included both people that had a repair or were, were treated via what's called a non-operative protocol. Both work very well, but take a look at one of our other videos here to see the, um, the pros and benefits of that. And alternatively, if you like the video, please subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. Thank you.